gospel music sensation who went viral as the cafeteria singer. He recalls such celebrities as Steve Harvey and Yolanda Adams sharing his video. Kalante is a Billboard charting artist as well as a stellar and Dove Award nominee. Behind the vibrant voice and pleasant personality is victory and triumph, channeling testimonies into moments of ministry. In 2017, Kilante's first single, Higher, which was written by his mother, Priscilla Smalls, and produced by Myron Butler, reached the top 20 on the Billboard Gospel Indicator. Kilante Gavin is hopeful and optimistic. He often states that he loves God and he loves his people. Because of that, he wants to be used to meet the needs of the people, and that is the number one thing he wants everyone to know about him. He believes that when you are going through something, you need to use it as fuel for your destiny and your craft. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our very special guest, Kilante Gavin. Whoa. Praise the Lord, everybody. Man, if you love the Lord, look at your neighbor and say, you look good. You look good. You ain't talk to nobody behind you. Look at somebody behind you and say, hey, neighbor behind me, how you doing? Tell them, you look good, too. You look good, too. Hey, downstairs, y'all look at the balcony. Balcony, y'all look downstairs. Y'all just wave at the balcony. Say, y'all look good, balcony. Balcony, wave on the floor. Say, y'all look good, too, floor. <laughs> now, if you know not only do you look good, but God is good, can somebody give God a crazy, ridiculous, don't make no sense kind of praise like the name of the Lord is a strong tower? The righteous run in and they are safe. Somebody shout for great is the Lord and he's greatly to be praised. Just sound like the front row saying something. I don't make no sense. All these people in here, we could just quiet. And let you go to your favorite show. So let, let some of y'all have to be at Vegas this weekend. Ooh. We couldn't get you to be quiet. Yeah, girl, we turn it up. Millions of dollars is being spent. Hold the music real quick. I just want to feel storefront for a second. Millions of dollars are being spent, have been spent, will be made this weekend off of one game. One of my uncles talked to me that lasts how long? Let's go overtime. You got all team jerseys on. You... A lot of things are happening this weekend. Hotels going to make it. Gas stations going to make it. Some Vegas churches might be, they might. They just might be back this morning. Because, you know, they got time. It's, what, 7 o'clock there. And um, I was sitting over there. I said, God, we will name stuff. We'll theme it. And we'll come to church Sunday after Sunday. Um, we like to say that we're non-traditional pastor and we're progressive. But the devil is alive. Sometimes we be lying. Because I'm finding out just as much as the traditional folks with denominations are as ritualistic and traditional and they operate by a schedule. We love our schedule and our program. We operate in time. I believe when we build God a schedule, he moves because we honor him with time. But some of our progressive folks can be just as traditional because they'll wake up, put their clothes on, brush their teeth. They got a roof over their head, clothes on their back, in their right mind. They done got chicken wing and sliders and hot wings and they might be a little fancy. Someone probably got a, a charcuterie board. <laughs> For the Super Bowl party, really, is that church? I ain't come to the church because I'm prepping with me and my family. And you got the audacity. Now, wait, stop. If you invited Kelante Gavin, well, uh, to come into your house for your Super Bowl party, sis, and I come and don't say nothing to you, you would call me disrespectful. 
Why Kilanti gonna come to our party in our house around our crew and got the audacity to eat our chicken wings and our sliders, pick some grapes and some good cheese off our charcuterie board, and he ain't said nothing. I just wanna tell somebody, how you think God feels when we come up in his house? Y'all ain't saying nothing. You get blessings increase and overflow, and you get to perk the consequence of somebody sitting on your row giving God praise. Cause God tells some of us, you ain't get blessed cause you did something today. You get blessed cause somebody on your row gave me a ridiculous blessing, and you got an overflow off of their outpour. I need somebody in this room that can open up your mouth and give God a crazy praise because he's been more than good to you. Hey, come on, fellas. If your favorite team wins today, you get absolutely nothing. But over 2,000 years ago, There was a coach, there was a sacrifice, there was a wide receiver who received the assignment to take the atonement of our sins. And since then, we've never walked in defeat. I need somebody that's victorious to open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Get enough for me to give you glory. Get enough for me to praise it. Get enough for me to run. Get enough for me to shout. Get enough for me to go crazy. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I gotta say, I, I only I only said that because it's Super Bowl Sunday. But it's church, and if I was an atheist, and I'm going to stop talking, we're going to say we're going to worship God. And I, if, if I was an atheist or an agnostic, whether I did not believe that there was a God or uh, I'm off a reason and scientific fact, you invite me to come to your church uh, and sit next to you. If you told me you was excited about your God, I would question your faith. Because I only know who and what he is, not just off of what you sing to me, but off of what you show me. And I need a representative on each row. I feel like nothing if you bucket to show your row what it looks like to be an undignified I know you're trying to add up the facts, but the God I serve is real. So I gotta give him a real praise. I gotta give him real worship because he pulled me out of a real pit. We gotta go. I, I, don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. But you know, we got our new songs and stuff. But I think part of our reason. I was teaching a worship, and I'm not coming on y'all now. I was teaching a worship crew. I said, y'all, nothing wrong with singing our new songs. Nothing wrong with it. But the greatest revival we're going to see in this last day is when grandmama can sing with grandbaby. So we got a lot of progressive songs, and we worship, and God said, they ain't said nothing to me. Y'all just singing. So every now and then, we got to learn how to build the bridge so we don't leave nobody. Grandma may not know what a beautiful name it is. Give me C-sharp, B-flat. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful name it is. And I think of this. A beautiful name it is. The name. But if you took, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody.
That's all. Hey, hey. Anybody remember church like that? I remember church like that. I don't mind now. I don't mind. I'm a worshiper at heart. Thank you so much, D. I'm a worshiper at heart. I don't mind now. I'm a worshiper at heart. I mean, one of my a song that changed my life is a, a song that I sing called No Ordinary Worship. And uh, I, I'm a worshiper. But every now and then, boy, I love the end times life. We need a savior in times like these. We need, we need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure that your anchor holds and grips the silent, the silent arm. You got to keep going. You, you had a red book on the back of, back of the pew. That rock is Jesus. Oh, I got a witness in the balcony. He is the one. That rock is Jesus. The only one. Be very sure. Be very sure. That your anchor holds. And grips are solid. Oh. 
Look. Solid rock. A little bit more, and I gotta move. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. I'm gonna start crying. And righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest rain, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Singing on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground up is sinking sand. All over the ground. Singing sing. Pastor Locke, I was I'm working on a new record and I told my fellas I'm stuck. Because I'm one, I, I wanna be more I would not wanna be more. I said I wanna in, you know include more in my catalog like as, as a 24-year-old. I mean, Technically, for some people, new artists to them, but as an independent established artist, I said, y'all, I don't, I'm stuck between going urban, and then I'm stuck from pulling back. You know, now I say, probably can make a new school and do both. We was playing with it, we was playing with it. But every time we tried, I said, no, fellas, it just don't hit like, then sings my soul. My Savior gone to thee. That's what it says. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. <laughs> then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great, how, how great, what a friend we have in Jesus. I'm coming, fellas, I'm just stuck. All our sins and griefs to bear. What does it say? What does it say? Everything to God in There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus Singing no not one Singing no not one For Jesus there And he will guide us till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. of prophetic words and I'm gonna try my best to keep calm but as you were talking I walked in the church and and got into the room in the back the green room and when we got in there uh, we just got from a long flight so it was fresh enough and 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 all I heard was unspeakable joy <laughs> got in the room only to see what he was talking about it's a lot of people that, that, that's doing church and we're here and we're happy, but we don't have joy because we've been disappointed. And I don't know where you are in this room, but the Bible says, I believe in 1 Thessalonians, that we ought to give thanks in all things. In other words, despite what I'm going through, 
I got a heart of thanksgiving that Romans 8 and 28 is true that all things work together for the good of them that love him and are called according to his purpose. Can I get somebody real quick to take a leap and just get out your seat, maybe get to the altar, walk around just to tell God I still believe that this is my year, that despite how it starts, it will not end this year how it started. That's your word right there. It will not end how it started. I'm coming for you. Ready? Take me to key of G. Take me to the key of G. So make it your own. We're going to have fun. I love to be an artist, but I'm at Evangel, so I'm one of the honorary praise and worship leaders now. So don't, don't play with me like an artist. Play with me like we're at church. I know you got songs and stuff. I wrote this song called Testify. Can I do that? You got stem, track, or just click? You got me? Just up? Oh, that ain't it. That ain't it. Let me teach you to them real quick. Y'all ready? Give me that G, bro. Give me the G keys. Okay. okay. Hold on, music. We're going to have a choir rehearsal. So, so when I say, I've seen too much, been through too much, he's done so much, I got to testify. I got that? I've seen too much, been through too much. I'm about to run. He's done so. I'll come singing that balcony. I gotta testify. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Look at your neighbor, make sure they got the words up. I've seen too much. You got it? Been through too much. What else? He's done so much. I gotta test. Now y'all got the rock and dance. I hope y'all ready. Hold on, hold on. I told you I'm already praise the leader. What BPM that is? You can knock it up real quick or no? 102? 105? Let me see that sound. This church, I like this Super Bowl Sunday. That's it right there? Yeah, 101? Take me up, 107. I got to feel it like a country song. That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! Turn that track up! Turn that track up! Come on, fellas! Come on, fellas! I need somebody to rock, I need somebody to rock, 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 Hey, play that guitar like we in Nashville. I'm going from the top, I'm going from the top. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the Too much. 
something God been doing like for the last couple days, last couple weeks. You can't give the details, but you ought to find you a dancing partner and say, rock with me while I thank God for what he's doing right now. 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 What is it? See, I gotta testify. I gotta testify. I gotta testify. I gotta testify. I gotta say it's all right. What he did, we dance for what he's doing. Yo, this next one, this is only for people who are believing God to do something, bro. Anybody believing God to do something? You gotta find a good rock. You gotta find a good rock. This dance is your pre-choice. I'm praising God before He does it. I'm praising God before I'm rocking. I'm juking. I'm grooving before we do it. We got to give one more before I go. One more, one more. Let me see you rock. See, I got a testimony. I got a testimony. I got a testimony. I got a testimony. Watch God do it. I got a testimony. Watch God do it. I got a testimony. Watch God do it. Y'all come up, y'all come up, let's go. Say, get ready, get ready. 
believe God lift up your hand in the air and worship him because it's already done it's already done it's already done I know I praise God because I think you're about to do it but really I'm just about to see it because you've already done it you've already done it My response will be thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. I want to say thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. I say thank you, thank you, yeah, Jesus, for all still here somebody need to pick your faith back up God's about to blow your mind I want to say thank you gave me the use of my lips I want to say Jesus for oh, oh, oh. y'all break it up let's try that we say thank you thank you yeah Come on, if you're a grateful heart, tell them thank you. Thank you, Jesus.
It's been rough. It's been tough. God, you never left my side. Oh, it was you. I want to say thank you for pulling me through, Lord. I want to say thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for all you, you done. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I won't forget what you've done. I won't forget what you've done. Holy, and I thank you. You've been a healer, and I thank you. Even if my body is still afflicted, I want to say thank you. You was wounded, my transgression, my iniquity. Your words said, Teacher, kindness is upon your shoulders and by your stripes already healed. Already healed, already healed, already healed. Uh, not just physical, but not even emotional. Already healed, I'm already healed. Just sing that with me. I'm already healed. I'm already here. When you look in the mirror, tell me what do you see? I'm already here. I'm already. Lord, I done came to evangel, got a record. When you look in the mirror, tell me what do you see? I'm already. to apply, you can do it for me because I'm already, yeah, said I'm already, already, already here, y'all sing it out, let's go, already, yeah, already, if I'm singing this for one person, it's done, it's done. It was already done. I gotta go, I gotta go. When you did it, Bartimaeus, he was already healed. Already healed. Because healing is something that you do, but it's who you are. You are the healer. Healing is it's a thing that you do, but healing is who you are. You are the healer. Last time, fellas, I'll write it later. Healing is something that you do. Music. He 
Something that you do, but it's who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Healing is something that you do, yeah, but it's who you are. Yeah. Healing is a song. forget this day cause I found out healing is and something that you do but it's who you are I'll never forget this day because I found out healing is and something that you do but it's who you are last time y'all hold the music fella somebody right now, there's somebody right now, you're singing it and God's healing you right now. Tell them, healing is it, healing is it. I just felt back pain leave. I just felt it leave. I felt it leave. I felt it leave. The tumor is dissolving. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The bleeding will stop you. You will have children. Healing is Hey, hey, hey. You will give birth to children. A miracle in 10 months. I feel it. Lift your eyes and say, Here I am. Hey, you're gonna learn to forgive. It's there. It's there. It's there. I don't just need you to heal my body, but cause my emotions to be stable. just recently had knee surgery. God just healed it. There's a quick recovery coming. Jesus, we believe that healing. Hey, the ringing of the ear. 
ringing of the ear. I hear constant migraines. God's healing you right now. Oh, you won't need the medication this week because healing. Come on, fellas. Blood is who you are. We don't stop, but I need somebody to take the next 60 seconds. Lift up your hand and worship the healing. you'll get ready revival is breaking out in this church God said I don't know what this will mean but he said just whisper this they're coming back it was never about who left but Holy Spirit says, tell them it was about who stayed and who left a seat unoccupied for another soul to fill it. I know where I am. I want to tread lightly. I don't want to, as, as I'm subject to you as a prophet of this house. But what we are seeing now God's about to shift this region. And when he shifts regions, he shifts men and women who are key holders. Don't miss this. Not just knowing the secrets of the kingdom. Woo. But the secrets of the portals. The reason why some churches are not ready for miracle signs to it. The pro is God does it. The con is if the mature are not ready they won't know how to steward the moment. So we know chronos is chronological time. Means we operate day to day based off of the watch, phone or clock you have in your house. But when you are a believer in Christ there's a such thing called Kairos. <sighs> Kronos uh, is I operate by time. Kairos is I live moments in time. And there is a moment that's about to happen that's about to shift the trajectory of your life. 
you are not just a pastor prophet but you're a prophet who happens to be a pastor and God's about to open up your mouth even wider to decree and declare the word of the Lord people will get out of wheelchairs cancer will dissolve pastors will be healed marriages will be reunited I need somebody to shout now you still believe You may not be an apostle, but we are apostolic, which means you have a mandate on your life, not just to pastor people, but to cultivate even more pastors. Content to tell you your wardrobe is going to change. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I don't like to touch this because we get very touchy on prosperity and money and finance. But it takes finance to keep these lights on. But God says, since you trust me with the sacrificial seed at the top of the year, God said, by the end of the year, I'm about to triple what you would have made if you never accepted to be a pastor i need somebody to open up your mouth because god said i'm about to bless you because i can trust you you didn't hear what i just said everybody want to be blessed but nobody can be trusted well the people that says god you can trust me you can it's gonna be big it's going to be extraordinary. The sons are coming. Because God said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the strength to continue to love your bride. And not fall in love with his bride so much that you forfeit your first ministry. Not saying that it's bad. But God says, you're about to show the young leaders, even older ones of today, what it looks like to be truly apostolic. And it's not just in your doctrine, it's in your discipline. God's about to give you a prophetic and apostolic thrust that what is in this room will not be contained. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this revival that's coming, it has absolutely nothing to do with the address. It has everything to do with your personal address. I don't want to experience God in a building and I can't take it home. But God said what's about to happen is families in this room are about to experience revival. I need somebody to holler out your last name because God's about to send glory to your last name. Glory is coming to your house. Glory is coming to your house. Glory is coming to your house. Because this ain't no ordinary worship. This ain't no ordinary song. The God I serve is greater than the ordinary. So I'm gonna give you all I have in this moment. I gotta go, I don't wanna get in trouble. This thing on me, I gotta cut it off. 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 Greater grace is coming. Greater glory is coming. Greater is coming. God says, tell him I've already been dealing with him. And he's telling me this now. But I'm telling you, pastor, what's coming? He said, it's so powerful. It will be so supernatural that it may contradict what you've been taught. He said it's not to deform, to deconstruct. He said it just means reformation is coming. He said reformation is here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Your eyes have not seen. No, your ear have heard. Neither has it entered to the hearts of man. We missed the next verse because it said for the prepare who was already expecting it knows that my eye was ready 
that my ears been tuned into the frequency of the voice of God. And my heart has always stayed submitted and open for God to do what I've never seen. So get ready for God to blow your mind. Real quick, I got to go obey God and I got to sing this song. Who's over the men's ministry? Where you at? Who's over the men's ministry? Run to me real quick. Oh, you over the men's ministry. Wow, that's hilarious. Who's my driver? I didn't know that. You got a second in charge? Two. Run. Quick. God moving. I ain't preaching nothing. I'm just flowing you up at the top row. He coming? He coming. Coming down the stairs. Go stand by real quick. Because God said, the consequence of the submission of your pastor is I ain't setting the women on fire first. Y'all don't know when to shout. He said, I'm about to set the men on fire. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. I need a lady to scream like your husband is getting ready to get a transformation. Y'all do me a favor, and I'm not doing this because you, because you're not the associate pastors. So I know biblically you might want to, you know, argue with me that it was those who was close to leadership that held up his arms. But can y'all hold up his arms real quick? The reason why I want you to hold up his arms. It's because God is about to stretch y'all. And anything that God stretches from the head down means everybody about to get an upgrade. You don't know when to shout. I'm leaving. I'm going to give you some pancakes. You I said when God stretches your leader, he is about to stretch everything in this house. You could have I gotta go, I gotta go. Pastor, I'm out of time. I don't wanna, I'm out of time. I don't want you to not invite me back. I was stuck. Y'all, y'all do me a favor, just hit the video. You know, we, we uh, subject to time. I'll just do one, one course, just one course, and I'm gonna say, this ain't no ordinary words. This ain't no ordinary song. This ain't no ordinary song. Hey, what's about to happen? An evangel is because the God of service greater than yes, the ordinary 